Hello, 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 YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, Straight Like That. What's up, SLD crew? I know your girl been missing in action, but everything is all gravy over here. How's everyone doing? Hopefully everyone is doing good, honey. Staying safe and staying out the way and enjoying yourself while doing it. All right. I had to get back over here trying to get into the groove of this reaction video with my jazzy life. My shabby life. Jazz said, girl code for what is the title of this video. When I tell you she went in on uh, Livy Poo, Olivia, Tuna, yeah. She went in on, I still don't like Jazz, and I definitely don't like no Livy. But um, we going to get into this reaction video, child. I'm going to get my little commentary, child. I'm going to move on by my business, all right? Anywho. Thanks to all the new subscribers who have subscribed to this channel. Thanks to the ones that are here and has been here. I was in the comment section. Child, thank y'all for always being here for your girl. Okay? Helping me grow this channel. I appreciate everything. Okay? All right. Let's get into this reaction video. Let's get it. Let's go. We in this bitch. Finna get crunk. Abra's on fleek. The fuck? Drop that shit, DJ OJ. Yeah. 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 Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. I did not come to play with you hoes. <laughs> I came to slay, bitch. I like cornbreads and collard greens, bitch. Oh yes, you best to believe it. <laughs> yeah, B. I love this shit. So let me talk my shit. Uh. All right, ready? Why you want to put people in my business? I said, damn, bitch. Whew, I'm tired. I'm tired. But you ain't never ready for no life, but you ready to talk your ish. Girl, come on now. Do better. It's bad enough y'all not y'all not being vloggers like y'all supposed to be content creators. Y'all sitting up here talking about a bunch of drama. Go back and forth with each other. Baby, this is not content. Okay. Jazz got up because she wanted y'all to see her walk away and her walk back in and pull up on them pants. Let y'all know how much weight she is losing. Uh-huh. Pants all big. Well, sis, you wear the same stuff all the time. I'm going to need you to get that workout wardrobe together. I'm going to need you to get your wardrobe together in the clothes department, sis, because you're a little bit sofa. You and Livia both do not know how to dress. Like I always say, this is we, this is the same person. Judges in different cities. They the same person. Girl, pulling up on them clothes. Girl, psh, with that wig on, that ring hanging out of her nose. Girl, I ain't got it to do. Look at that ass. I ain't never ready. Why did chair want to adjust it before you started this live? You knew you was finna go live. Jasmine, and just answer this one question. Why do you put these wigs on and go work out? Why you look so greasy and sweaty like you look? Girl, I know it's hot outside, but is it hot in your house? OMG. And look at that background. It looks terrible. Girl, that room is giving creepy vibes. And I ain't got it to do. Ooh. 
Oh, child. I'm going to do my water. <sighs> Y'all, it's so freaking hot outside. Whew. Okay. Let me find my water. That's some bullshit. You are not ready to go live. You got to keep getting up. You got to look for water. You got to go close doors. You want to huff and puff about being tired. Oh, it's so hot outside. But ain't you in the inside doing a live? Why is you sweating like that, ma'am? First of all, you should have went took your damn cool shower is what you should have did to cool your ass down since you so damn hot. Girl, because you look dirty. You look good and dirty and sweaty and your skin look milky. Clabberly. You know what I'm saying? Like buttermilk. Like, girl... You do not have to get on this live like that. Girl. I think I left it in the bathroom. Hold on. Bitch, what the fuck? Bitch, what the fuck? Okay. When I say it's hot, it's hot. Girl, come on with this damn video and stop saying it's hot and you inside your damn house. You scared to turn your damn air on? Take that motherfucking wig off, sis. Take that wig off. You making me hot. And bitch, my AC feels real good up in my shit and it's a fan on. Jesus Christ. And I only got that on because I'm extra. Okay, so let's get to like so. Hey y'all. Can you hear me? Yeah. You see how rude this bitch is? You on the line, y'all. Let's get the likes up. Like, you're really not gonna talk about nothing really spectacular or really just important. You really finna get on here and just talk your shit about your shit situation with Olivia. Uh, so, if you're going to do a live, be more professional than you are. Girl, you're so ghetto. You're so ghetto, but want to be so prim and proper, but you're not. Let me remind you, okay? I don't like Olivia, but I don't like your ass either. So, I want to talk to y'all. Um, It's so hot. I'm hot. Ooh, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> so I want to say this. Since I was over here feeling like there is a girl code that I must follow, I have to follow this girl code. In reality, I'm not following. There's no go girl code. There's no sympathy. There's no respect. Like, I don't give a damn about this individual. Girl, no, girl, that's gone. Once you got on this internet and put them allegations on my kids, girl, fuck a girl code. But, you know, I'm going to have respect for myself and not disrespect your kids. Because really, nothing matters. And I can really get on this bitch and, like, drag you. I can talk about, I could be a, a petty bitch, but I'm not going to be a hypocrite and talk about your kids. I can really, like, that's the level that I really want to stoop to. Just like be petty as fuck, but I'm not because I got respect for myself. Fuck a girl code. Y'all want to hear how I feel about the girl code stuff between Jasmine and um, Olivia over them? Here's the thing. Both of them hoes is doing this shit for views. They both know that this is what got them, you know, they channels, you know, to the level that it is. Okay, let's be honest. They want to go and, you know, do give us a, a second round of bullshit about um, how they feel about each other and how they going in on each other. Now, Liv's life is pissed off at Jasmine because Jasmine gave Zolo a shout out. Do I think that Jasmine did it for petty? And yeah, I, I think she did it for petty. Most definitely did it for petty. The thing about it is. I think if they were still like cool and they wasn't, it wasn't so bad off and lived and really just dragged the situation about the children and she had receipts and all that stuff, but she never presented that. I think Jasmine probably wouldn't have paid Zolo no mind or whatever. But yeah, I do feel like she did it 
for those reasons. And at the end of the day, I really don't give a damn. Because one thing about it is, if it was me, if I was Jasmine, and I'm dealing with the situation with Olivia, and Olivia put some allegations out there on my motherfucking baby daddy, saying he was touching on my children, and you sit your big ass up on your big ass platform, and you does nothing, and you didn't, you didn't put no authorities in place. You didn't, you know, get the kids no help. You're, you're not no better than Chris. You know what I'm saying? This shit is alleged. We don't know if this shit is true or not. You know what I'm saying? But if it is, Jasmine is the dummy. She the one that's going to go burning hell for the shit that she did to her motherfucking kids. Bad enough, your shabby life was a hot mess. Then you get with a dude that ain't shit. And it's a hot mess. That's a bad situation. But like I said, if it was me, I wouldn't give a damn how Olivia felt about anything. I'm going to do whatever it takes to hurt your feelings back. And that's what they're playing. They're playing Russian roulette with each other on these live streams about a whole lot of nothing that we don't even care about. First of all, Zolo ain't in sight. He ain't nowhere near neither one of these chicks. Zolo is, is alleged you that you're AJ's dad, but are you stepping up to the plate to try to get that shit straight? No, you're not. You out here uh, playing uh, with this bullshit with these females acting like a female when you got a whole ass motherfucking woman over there that you so called your damn wife. Well, I'm going to need you to stay your ass off the internet. If you're going to grow your channel, grow it organically on your own with your music and whatever you got going on. Now, you felt like jazzing little 60,000 subscribers was going to put you on the map. See, you doing Jasmine like you did Olivia. Olivia put you on to social media as well. You know what I'm saying? But do some stuff with you and Donna. Do your music over there and grow your channel. Stay out of that beef with them girls because that's not fucking cute. It's bad enough they stupid. Do you already see they putting all their personal information, all their business out here on the internet? You don't care. You don't give a shit. You don't give a shit about Olivia. You don't give a fuck about AJ. You don't give a damn about no jazz. You just like being in the mix with the girls. Okay? Y'all already know what it's giving, what I really want to say. But YouTube been tripping with me, so I'm going to take a chill pill. But, um... I don't, I don't like this here back and forth, but I do understand what Jasmine's saying. It's no girl code, bitch, if we're not friends. It's a girl code put in place when we friends and we do, you know what I'm saying? We, we kicking it together and being around each other. And then I did some shit like that. You don't like me. I don't like you. You talk shit about me on the internet. You drug my kids. Then you, you know, you got mad because... You know, I gave your baby daddy a shout out. You pissed off. I don't still don't to this day don't understand why Olivia is so mad about that. You dogged him out on the end on your live streams as well. Talked about him real bad. Like he ain't your baby daddy and you and him can clarify that shit. All he got to do is call you. But now you mad at Jasmine. It's like Olivia is a narc. She's a narc 24-7. And I get so sick of her weak shit. I wish she would grow the fuck up. Jasmine is a weak-minded ass individual too. But a live, but live, live like to start the shit. Olivia didn't even have to say shit. She could just let that shit blow off her shoulder. Let Jasmine, bitch, that shit don't bother me. But she had to entertain it because that's the kind of person that she is. That's how I feel about it. Ooh, child, they work my spirits. I've been busy been doing shit with my kiddos and I don't live for the internet. I don't live to come on there and, and keep up with they every move. I come on here and drop some videos, Kiki and Kaka for the internet because I like fucking with y'all. Y'all cool beans. But that keeping up with them and that's all they got going, this is trash. I'm about to find some more mommies to uh, look up and talk about and I think I got a couple in mind that I do. I'm going to drop them here and there. You'll see them. Let's keep on. Girl, you lost that. You lost that a long time ago. It is sad that you so bothered by a collab a collaboration. Shout out. You make it seem like I purposely did it to hurt you. Bitch, I don't give a fuck if it hurts you or not. To be, to be blunt and real, I don't care if it hurts you or not. Exactly. Right? Who gonna check me? I don't care. If it hurts you, good.
That wasn't my intention. My intention was a hustler. Hustle mentality. I wasn't worried about you. You was the least on my mind. <laughs> Money. Your mindset's fucked up. What I really want to see is the Money. It's giving that. What's the word? It's like you're scared or something. Like you're nervous. You're antsy. And you're just like, oh my God. You're acting like I slept with this man. Girl, I don't look, I unlike you, I respect people in a relationship. I look, you don't gotta mix business with pleasure. Are you serious? It's a business situation on both ends. And if you feel bothered by it, that is your problem. And reality says I didn't even stoop as low as you. No, 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 no. That is it. Uh 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 uh. You keep saying I stoop, I stoop. Oh yeah, they're gonna stoop lower than you. How is me doing a paid collaboration stooping lower than what you said about my kids? How? Jasmine can talk all the shit that she wants, but at the end of the day, yeah, you did that co collaboration for money, but you also did that motherfucking shit to shit on Olivia ass to piss her off. Let's be honest, sis. We all grown. We know what you did it for. Well, stop acting like you need that money to take care of your children. From the way it look, your kids ain't really just kept like that. And uh, let's be honest, it ain't to feed them either because you get government assistance, meaning uh, food stamps. So, miss me with the bullshit. Carry on. Make that make sense. Saying what you said about my kids, now I stoop low because I did a pay collaboration. Hell no. Nah. Hey, I could never put that kind of shit on nobody's kids. And then you keep saying this, and that irritates me. That's why I got to keep coming on here. Bitch, stop saying that I told you that my kids were sexually assaulted. Like I said, Olivia likes to hit below the belt as well. Olivia is very confrontational. Now, Olivia, you still ain't never presented nobody with no receipts. That The messages that, I mean, um... The conversation that you and Jazz had that was recorded and you had the recordings. My thing of it is, how many of y'all know bitches that y'all cool with or y'all hanging, y'all chill out together and the little for the little time that they was, you know, in cahoot with each other? Why are you recording our conversation? See, that's why I say you have to watch what you say around people, especially people that you really don't know like her. I feel like Jasmine, you let your mouth overload your ass, ma'am. You told her too much of your business and you told her too many things and she felt like she can use it against your ass once y'all wasn't friends anymore. She is that type of person. So it really looks stupid on your part because you were told on so many levels, it was so many red flags up in the air about her. Girl, this lady dropped out of school in the eighth grade. She don't have no friends. She don't know what it's like to have a friend. Her only her only friend is Robin and uh, Stella and Ryan. Yeah, she don't give a damn about Christian and AJ and baby P. Clear over there. Okay? You let that girl know a certain amount of your business. Whatever you told her, she took it up, scrambled it like some damn eggs, and guess what? And gave everybody on the internet a little bit on the plate. And which I think is childish as fuck. Like, why would you do that? You don't want nobody to say nothing fucked up about you. But, you know, Liv is a heartless person. Liv already lost her kids. So she figured, like, what I got to lose? <laughs> let me let me dog this bitch. I let, let me embarrass this bitch. Let me put on blaze. That's, that's the type of person that Liv is. And Liv feel like she's untouchable at this point because she figured ain't nobody going to run up on her. And Liv is that cop girl because she's a Karen. But I'm telling you, and I'm going to keep saying it, is so many ass whoopings out there with her motherfucking name on it. I'm just waiting for the day for somebody to just drag this hoe, slide her motherfucking ass, slide her ass up on that old ass Vivo. You can do that too. Because that mouth almighty of hers, yeah, that motherfucker like the sewage. That hoe real good and toxic. I'm talking about gutter tonight. You fucking fat, funky bitch. Stop saying that shit. Not the pot calling the kettle black. Both of y'all motherfuckers some funky bitches. <laughs> Jasmine said you fat, funky bitch. Ooh, wee. Okay, girl. Stop saying that. Bitch, like, I really give two fucks about you. 
Like if you got, like I said, bitch, if you got hit by a car and they came back and everybody trying to feel fat, bad for you, bitch, I wouldn't give a fuck if that happened. Who cares? 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 In my head, I don't give a fuck if you, oh, well, she lost her, her those, uh, her kids lost their mom. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Karma's karma. And it's going to beat your ass. I swear to God. Just not jazz. I'm trying to talk that high shit. But I ain't going to get up in that Ford Escape and hit that highway and run down there and DDT her right quick. She ain't about to do none of that. But she's sitting up here wishing all kind of fucked up ass shit on somebody by karma. Girl, you got karma coming to your ass too the way you do your motherfucking kids, sis. Girl, the fuck? You ain't off limits in this conversation. I'm sorry. Because you said the most nastiest shit. I don't give a fuck. You could have said anything. Like how she got on here and was saying all the shit. She has was getting punched in the face. And I didn't even get punched in the face. She could have said, kept running with that. But you want to bring my kids in, you dumb fat hoe? Jasmine, they said the man was running your head up against the refrigerator in between the washer and dry, if I'm not mistaken. Or did I hear it wrong? And a couple of dicks was in that motherfucking nice box. So, I don't know about your face, but they said you done got on here. Now, they said that, that you got up on here, on this internet, with some makeup around your eye. I don't know, sis. You was over there windmilling with Chris ass real tough at one point. It's funny how a motherfucker will windmill with you and fight with your ass, but the motherfucker don't take care of you. I, is that such the craziest thing? Chris is sucks as a motherfucking man, baby daddy, baby. He ain't boyfriend material. He ain't husband material. I guarantee you that other woman he with, if she got some kids, low key, he probably never told her he don't want no more. He probably with somebody that don't want no more either. Either that or she don't have none. But if she ain't got no, she gonna have one for his motherfucking ass. But Chris probably over there happy than a motherfucker. I bet he's showing all them motherfucking bucky teeth. <laughs> Child, please. You dumb fat hoe. You can talk about me crying. You can talk about this and that. You want to bring my kids in? Come on now, sis. Come on now. And you think that I'm supposed to have sympathy? I'm supposed to, oh, bye-bye, girl code. Bitch, fuck your girl code. That shit, I'll piss on that if I could. You don't know damn hoe. Uh-uh. They ain't nothing. Bitch, you're nothing. So me working with somebody ain't got shit to do with you. Ain't got shit to do with you. Keep my motherfucking name out of your mouth. Bitch, stop speaking on my kids. I swear to God. God forgive me for swearing to you, but damn, strike that bitch down. The fuck? Like, I hate being that person to wish the most worst on somebody, but bitch, I hope it happened. Whatever the fuck happens to you, I hope it does. That shit is it, 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 disgusting to me. I don't even think people realize how disgusted I am about what you said about my kids. I could never take her apology. Say this bitch want to get on this bitch and apologize for lying on my kids. Nah, I'll take that back because sis, she went too far with her lie. She would never hop on this platform and apologize. She has to continue that lie. She has to because what if she doesn't continue a lie like that, then what? And like I said, bitch, stand on that. It's crazy how you still up here talking, saying this fucking fake ass shit, but yet here we are. Here we are. So why you didn't call the police? Why you didn't make a police report? Exactly. Why you didn't, you said you were, didn't the whole say she recorded me talking to her? Why you didn't give it to the police? But you still talking about my kids. You still talking about my kids. And the way that you're so heavy on this sexual assault shit, bitch, is really, it's given that something's happened to you or your children. Girl, please stop playing with that damn earring and that big ass nose. Okay? You look like your, your your chocolate chips are clearing up. So please stop doing it. We already know you ain't took no bath. Jasmine, you look like you ain't took no bath. Girl, you is now you back on this here 
SA shit, with what Olivia said. Jasmine, the shit wasn't true. The cease and assist was fake and it was phony and it was trash. And you need to go back to school and um, you need to take some motherfucking classes, learn how to spell. <laughs> you need to learn how to articulate your motherfucking words right. Girl, you're pitiful. Okay? You're pitiful. Because you're too heavy on this. You're too heavy. Like, all I can say is watch your back. Watch your back. Why she got to watch her back? Because, did I say watch? Why she got to watch her back? Because you're not going to do nothing. You haven't did nothing in all this time. All the things that she has said. Uh, well, let me tell you something. The way Livy put out that shit on the internet about your children and what Chris supposedly led you to do to those kids, bitch, it would, nothing would have stopped me from making it to Arlington to drag a hoe. Nothing would have stopped me because I felt like in that moment, we already got our eyes on your ass and we feel like you don't give a fuck about your kids. And you proved the point because you didn't never move that escape and put that bitch on the highway. It was given. I don't give a damn. And, but I'm going to use it as a storyline and drag it on and try to make me some, uh, you know, give me some views and make some money off of. Yeah, uh-huh. That's the type of shit that you and Olivia did. So you can miss me with this conversation that we having. We having us a whole live, drag live fest. And it ain't working for me. You might make a few points, but it's not working for me. Because nothing wouldn't have stopped me from getting on that highway to get in that whole ass. Real talk. You you talking, speaking on people, kids. That shit right there, that SA shit, that's traumatizing. That shit is triggering. Especially if you're a person that been through that bullshit yourself. For motherfucker be living under somebody's roof, using the fuck out of them, using up everything the kids have and own, and for you to be, actually be doing, being a dirty motherfucker like that, yeah, mm-hmm, I, I be on the highway looking for that big booty bitch ass nigga too. Ooh, baby, these some weak ass hoes. They talk all that shit, these some weak bitches. Watch your back, sis. Hold on. Never find. Let me catch some of your comments. Sis thinks that she, if she goes live late at night, that nobody gonna catch it. You don't think nobody's going to catch it? You don't think that people going to put it out there? People are gonna, not going to react on it? You think I'm not going to catch it? She goes late because she knows that I don't be up later. I really don't be up late at night. Not every night. <laughs> so she tries to go late at night and talk her shit. That's because she a motherfucking vampire. She be up late at night because that's when she do her best work. Everybody know a live don't sleep at night. That's why she got the mega bags on her motherfucking eyes. She stay up late at night, searching through reactors, videos, comments, TikTok, you name it. That's what she be doing. That's why she sleep all motherfucking day. Kids at her house for six weeks for the summer. And all they been doing is going outside with that big dinosaur ass motherfucking dog. Doing a whole lot of nothing. Next. They didn't, they, they, baby, they got a whole new level of flies and nets up in her motherfucking trap house ass motherfucking thrift store. Bust down ass apartment. Stella watches him while Olivia takes her beauty naps. You know, she needs them motherfuckers. They still don't work. When that bitch get up, she still like the same motherfucker. Okay? And she, don't look no, she don't look different until she put all that shit on her face. Olivia's pathetic. And, but it's how she does it. I'm just tired of you lying. Like, you're a liar. 
You're a liar. I hope you choke on your lying ass words. I hope you choke. Not the day. Oh shit. Hold on, y'all. Oh, the hell just makes me sick. The sound of her voice makes me sick. Hey, y'all. Thank you, Kareem. She's still talking. She just runs her mouth. It's like, but shut up. Shut up. Go sit down somewhere. Uh, And you need to go sit down somewhere, too, because, uh, baby, y'all hoes is the same. How about you get your ass off that live and go take uh, Baby Rawls over there to the Muslim Barbershop and let him drop them clippers up in that scalp because it's baby. His head is doing the food. How about you go wash your ways? A whole lot of things you need to do. Go be a mom. Get the fuck on. Be fucking for real. Stop checking for me. And it's not, and it's not that deep. It's really not that deep. Bitch is acting like I went and slept with her baby daddy. It's not that deep. Hey, Zolo. You know the fuck what? Oh my gosh, she's so sorry. The clown don't know what girl code is. Girl, what girl, go this girl, whatever girl code she thought it was, that's been gone. I never I haven't had girl code for her. Like Nah, because when we first when the shit happened a couple of months ago, there was no girl code. It was more so respecting my relationship and shutting the fuck up. Now, when you got on here and you start talking about my kids, bitch, fuck you and whatever code you stand on, bitch. We ain't we you here, I'm over here. We better not ever collide. Girl, because you gonna really understand what I stand on when I say fuck your girl code. It's gonna be fuck your code, fuck everything. Y'all think I'm the one to play with. I'm really not. That's why I said she better hope that we just never cross paths. Because, bitch, I don't give a fuck if you got... Look, I don't give a fuck. Your kid in the car and I see you pulling up, whatever fuck. Bitch, and you get out, I'm going to molly whop your ass. I'll call, the, I'll call the police afterwards. We the people say you act like you can fight, but you can't. You act like you hard, but you ain't. Look, I just beat the shit out of this bitch that lied on my kids. And her kid in the car, she laying on the ground. Just look, just come. I'm gonna stay here. Just for the child, I'm gonna stay right here and wait. That's that's what I'm on. I ain't gonna leave your child stranded or nothing. I will beat the fuck at you, call the police, and wait. <laughs> like that's that's what I'm on. You think that I'm really the one to play with? I'm really not the one to fuck with. You talk all this shit. You don't know how tempted I've been to take a motherfucking strip and find your ass. Watch this bitch start repeating herself about what she'll do to live. Baby, you is all talk and no motherfucking action. How bad you want to take a trip, bitch? I would have paid a motherfucker just for me to hit that highway and go run up on that bitch. Oh, I would have dropped a nice little price for a motherfucker to watch legendary baby Rawls motherfucking ass. Hear me? Hear me with my chest out. <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't, have, it, it wouldn't have been nothing. No, she don't give a fuck. <laughs> Girl, you sitting up here talking cash money shit and I ain't even got a leg to stand on. Because all that talking, jibber jabber, that shit for the birds. We like action. Girl. It's what, two hours? You don't know how tempted I've been to take a motherfucking strip and find your ass. Girl. It's what, two hours? And some change? I thought she had her address. What she need? Tell me to find her ass. It wouldn't have been nothing to find that fat bitch. Bitch, you looking out videos, you see the complex she live in? She in Arlington. Arlington is not that motherfucking big, ma'am. <laughs> but you best believe that big bitch got the motherfucking popos on motherfucking speed dial. <laughs> believe that. Like, you really don't know. And it's not even... It's more so just the defense for my children. Like, I want you to feel... 
what you said about my two girls. I want you to feel it. I want you to feel it heavily. Every hit. You hear what, baby? I wouldn't even let an ex know that I was bothered. She's bothered and she keeps trying to, but you cannot compare. She keeps saying, well, what if I did this with Chris or, or Philip? Bitch, they wouldn't even fuck with you. Now, what I am going to say about the baby daddies, both of them motherfuckers some bust downs, but even them being bust downs, we see they keep them some hoes and they come. I really don't think neither one of them would choose no Olivia just on uh, based off the type of person that she is and how she come off and her personality. Mm -mm. No big mouth, big trout mouth bitch. No, I, I don't. I couldn't see them fucking with her. She talked too much. She an internet bitch like Jasmine. Why would they want to talk to her? And Chris damn sure ain't been holding no conversation with her. Where she been drug him for fear. You best believe he know. You best believe that big motherfucker know that bitch been uh dragging him on the internet. So why would he want to talk to her? Girl, Olivia just give me the vibes of a nigga look at her and, and, and say something nice or just be being nice. She'll think motherfucker want her. Girl, bye. Because look what you said. How can you compare? You can't compare because the allegations are put on them. On Well, it's put on Chris and then it's on, put on Philip's children. You think they're going to fuck with you? They would never. Now, if you had something else to say, girl, and it wasn't this way, it probably, who, who knows, bitch? But I'm just like, neither one of them on social media, so I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? The money's money. Do what you got to do. Can you get up and get that dirty ass blanket from uh Baby Rawls over there and put that motherfucker in the washing machine? Matter of fact, burn that bitch up, fill it in the trash for trash day. Because you wrong as hell for sending your big oversized wide back, big nose ass up here letting this boy get attached to that motherfucking blanket like he have. You trying to make it look like because Chris ain't around, that's, that's some kind of security blanket for him when he feeling some type of way. When Legend is a little bitty kid, he's a toddler. He's not feeling no kind of way. He's only doing what you're allowing him to do. And I would never let him get picked up that badass habit, packing a nasty ass blanket around this motherfucker. I'm sick of that motherfucking blanket. God damn. But you really bothered, and you got me really. Yes, baby. Hold on. What? Hey, Terry James. She had never to speak on girl code after all she did. She's sick in the head. Y'all aren't friends. And she was, thank you. We're not friends. No, no. What's she trying to get stern with? No, no. Why is he waving? <laughs> I wish some people in the chat shit the fuck up. Jasmine already need to shit the fuck up. Why is y'all sitting there encouraging her and saying stuff? I wouldn't say shit. I wouldn't even be encouraging. I would be like, girl, just move on. Just let it go. Stop addressing. Let it go. Let it go. No, she going to keep on doing this shit because she feel like that's pulling in some views. I need to see how many damn views that she get on this fucking video. We're not friends. I have I have Mommy, nothing hi. I have nothing to hold back from saying. Girl or doing. Who the fuck are you? You're just a fucking lame ass bitch that I associated myself with for a short period of time. And I wish I didn't. Hey one love. I see Jasmine speaking to one love. One love is a channel that I just started watching as well. She's a um Reactor as well, but you know, she team Jasmine. She can't stand Olivia, so she team Jasmine. So I guess she gets up in Jasmine chats and, and speaks to her. I guess, girl, do you? I mean, daddy. You ate it all. Yeah. Go throw that in trash. She's using the subject of you and your kids for content and views. She doesn't have anything going on. She's doing everything that you're doing. And it's weird, like, now, whoever said that shit, first of all, they both doing that shit to each other. They both doing Because when Olivia put out shit and say her little stuff about Jasmine, she get it started. Jasmine going to come back and retaliate and drop uh, Olivia, you know, business that Olivia actually, uh, I guess, spoke about around her, about her mama, 
the the mama old man. I ain't going to say a husband because, baby, I don't know now husband. Let their wife go live with their 30-something-year-old motherfucking daughter. You're acting like this bitch is special needs and can't take care of her own motherfucking children by her goddamn self. Uh-uh. No. I don't know no man would be sitting there waiting on Stella. Stella with the boots. Whatever the hell you want with the hook, whatever the hell you want to call it. Stella is not no pretty bitch, no baddie, no bad bitch. No motherfucker gonna sit there and wait on her and pay all her bills. She down there couch surfing at motherfucking Liv's house. Up in that thrift store ass motherfucking apartment. Girl, bye. They just be, ooh, man, both of these bitches is just alike. Jasmine try to act like she's just more prestigious than motherfucking Liv. Bitch, yo, both of yours is tied. You bitches is tired and y'all ain't no good mamas. Y'all ain't shit because y'all hoes don't say the lies for when y'all don't have shit to do. Y'all get on the lie. If y'all think about it, look at all the girls that's on on uh, YouTube that does mommy vlogging. Them girls vlog whatever they gonna vlog. You you don't see them girls getting up there creating no drama or talking about no drama. Now, I do know that, um, what's the girl name? Um... McKenna Walker, I think that's her name. Now, I think she got on there and she talked about, a, a, you know, her not putting up, you know, vlogs for a while. And she finna chill because I think, allegedly, I think her old man finna go to jail or prison or whatever else. She she didn't tell what the situation was, but that's what word on the curve. But she ain't get up on there making no big deal out of slandering a nigga, you know, talking no cash money shit. She just talking about how it's going to be. To try to do this thing as a single mom, you know, because she's, you know, has that he's her fiance, that's her children's father, they live together, whatever. A lot of the girls that, you know, content creators, them girls don't get up on and talk about all this shit and be beefed up with no other content creator. Either they do their own thing around their family, their friends, or whatever else. They don't, a lot of these girls, they're not even collaborating with each other because they already see they collaborate in but a bunch of shit and a bunch of mess. Jasmine and Olivia sitting up here, two low bottom of the barrel ass bitches sitting up here creating this bullshit ass content. All they doing is putting our motherfucking personal business and talking about each other and talking about each other's kids and all that shit. Relationships and all that. This shit is so high school and so stupid. I'm sick of it. That's why I don't give a fuck about missing some of their videos because they bitch asses is trash. Shit, they ain't nothing important to talk about. They don't. They do the same stuff. They not even interesting. Boring ass bitches. Why are you focused on my my kids? Is good. My kids are good, and it's just so sick. But you don't know how bad I want to make you feel how I feel right now when it comes to my kids. And I hope you never get your kids. I hope you never get them full custody back because you're a dumb. That's how, like, bitch, I don't give a fuck about you. Well, Jasmine said it. <laughs> she said she don't give a fuck about no live and she hopes she don't never get her kids back. Poop, she ain't getting the motherfuckers back. She, baby, that shit signed, sealed, and delivered. Okay? My child, I didn't, um, do a whole motherfucking hour with no damn jazz. I ain't got it to do. I'm telling you, I'm trying to live my motherfucking best life. She's motherfucking heat already sucking the energy out your ass already. And it's just the beginning of the damn summer. But uh, I just had to come touch base on what this hoe was talking about. Um, I got a few more videos that's going to pop up. And and hopefully y'all still supporting the channel. Come back and, you know, check your girl videos out or whatnot. I know I've been missing in action, but... Hey, life is lifing over here, okay? But anywho, y'all already seen this video, uh, Jasmine video. Y'all want to go watch the rest, see what she's talking about, dragging the shit out of live. Y'all be my guest, all right? This is the end of the video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Oh, yes, I like that.